Let's talk about answers. Does momentum trading actually work? And if so, when has been the best trade entry? Which stocks have worked the best? And what has been the best time to exit? What are realistic average returns? What are historical win rates? And if this strategy is more than simply a reflection of a bull market, then it should have worked during the bear market as well, during 2007 and 8, when the S&P 500 collapsed into the Great Recession. Even further, to really do empirical analysis, we need to look at everything. For example, does a large stock move from the prior earnings release have an impact on the one week of trading before the next earnings release? The same question can be answered about any momentum that immediately follows an earnings gap up. Here's Apple, for example. After an earnings beat, does that represent a short window, say one or two weeks, where the stock has continued to rise? Does this happen for other stocks? We can also look at earnings misses. Not everything has to be a bullish play. When a stock misses earnings large, does that mean that there's a window for the next one to two weeks where the stock continues to slide? There need to be answers to these questions. If momentum trading has worked in the past, it should be empirical and explicit. And that's it. Also. How about technical analysis or technical trading? And if it really does work, okay then. Which indicator has worked and on which stocks? It doesn't matter how much noise there is out there. If technical analysis works, the results should be empirical and explicit. That's it. And what about non-directional option trading? Has there been a way to profit without making a directional bet? Again, empirically, does this work? And if so, when has been the best trade entry? Which stocks have worked the best? And what has been the best time to exit? What are realistic average returns? What are historical win rates? And again, if this goes beyond coincidence, beyond just a bull market or a low volatility period, then it should also work during a bear market and at times when volatility was elevated, like during the 2007 and 2008 market crash. Answers. That's what this is all about. We're going to cover all of this and we're going to do it pretty quickly. We'll start with momentum, then technical analysis, then non-directional history. All right, let's go. We're going to start with momentum. We'll start with our first pre-earnings pattern. So one of the least recognized but most important phenomena surrounding this bull market is the amount of optimism that sets in the two weeks before earnings. Now this is totally irrespective of whether the stocks have a history of beating earnings. In fact, many of them don't. But in the two weeks before earnings, there is a massive momentum rally into the event. What the scanner will help us see later is that while there is this two week pattern, sometimes one week or even just three days presents a better trading window. We'll start with two weeks here and address the other time periods when we cover the scanner. Let's look at a simple idea. Let's just buy a monthly call option in Alphabet two weeks before earnings and selling the call before the earnings announcement. So we'll get long a call, we'll go to custom earnings handling, we'll open the trade 14 days before earnings, and we will close the trade one day before earnings. We are not taking an earnings bet. This is a pre-earnings trade. And here are the results. We can see across the board, this has been a winner. And just to see what's happening, we can look at the stock price. This is a two year stock chart of Alphabet where the blue E icons represent the earnings dates. We can see with the little yellow arrows, the momentum that leads into the event. We've also put little boxes around the actual stock movement after earnings. And we can see that Alphabet sometimes spikes on earnings and sometimes it looks like an earnings miss. The real question we also wanna ask is, can we improve this pre-earnings momentum signal by looking at the prior move from earnings? That is, does this earnings beat here have any impact on this pre-earnings momentum the next time here? And equally as important, does this earnings miss here have any impact on the lack of pre-earnings momentum the next time right here? While we're looking at this, we might as well look at the rest of FANG. So I'm just gonna put the rest of the tickers in here, comma delimited. Our members have seen the research where we have shown empirically it has worked in both a bull market and a bear market with statistical significance. And it works for lots of groups of companies. But even when we're looking at a small group like FANG, what we need to do to find the best trades is to focus on the win rates. Netflix and Amazon are a coin flip. Even though the returns are positive, these aren't the best of breed. But a good trade turns into a great trade only after we do risk control. So let's drop a tight stop on these calls and also a tight limit. We'll go down to the close trade one section. We will close these long calls if they go up by 30% in a two week period. And we'll also close them if they go down by 30% in a two week period. All of a sudden the trade is clearly in Alphabet and Facebook, not Apple, Netflix, or Amazon. So let's focus on those two. 
Now we can see the staggering returns, and we can see 15 wins on one loss if we held these two as a portfolio. And just so you know, we're not pulling a fast one on you, and that calls always work on these companies, we can just look at the 15 days after earnings. So we'll open one day after earnings and close 15 days after earnings, and these trades are actually negative. So this is in fact a pre-earnings momentum trade based on the personality of this bull market. While we're here, let's go ahead and look at another trade that's very similar. We'll go to custom earnings, and this time we're gonna to look to open the trade just one week before earnings, so seven days before earnings and closing it the day before, as opposed to the two weeks before earnings trades we looked at with Google and Facebook. And this time we'll look at Nvidia. So we're gonna buy a call seven days before earnings, close it the day before earnings, we'll put a stop and a limit, and we'll look at the last three years. And here we can see with NVIDIA, 11 wins and one loss with a 1,352 total return. And if you're wondering how I knew to look at NVIDIA a week before earnings, this is how. The Pro Scanner, which is available to Trade Machine Pro members. We select Pro Scan, then we select Buy Strategy. We can choose any grouping of stocks, but for now, we'll use the S&P 500. Since we're looking at pre-earnings momentum trades, we're going to scroll down to the pre-earnings section. You'll note that we scan for 14-day, 7-day, and 3-day pre-earnings momentum trades. Let's now look at the one week back tests and just look at the three-year results. So we'll tap on 7 days and we'll deactivate the other buttons. We can see NVIDIA here. This is a tech darling that has had immense pre-earnings momentum, showing 11 wins out of the last 12 pre earnings sessions with an average return of 39% in a week or 493%. For those of us that like trading the tech names, we can select the NASDAQ 100 and sharpen our scan results. We can find a familiar name as well, which is Microsoft at the top of the list. For the traders that really want all the edge they can extract from the market, we touched on it earlier, it does turn out empirically that if the prior earnings report resulted in a large stock move up, then the next pre-earnings period does show greater momentum that is statistically significant better returns and higher win rates than the already remarkable statistically significant pattern of the baseline. That research is available only to Trade Machine members. Here's a quick example of how to make use of this new research. Let's take a simple idea. We're going to look at Netflix and buy a call seven days before earnings and close it the one day before earnings. So this is not an earnings trade. It simply tries to capture momentum in Netflix before earnings. And here are the results over the last two years of just buying an at-the-money call. Six wins and two losses, and the average return per trade, that includes the wins and the losses, was 26%. But now let's impose the rules that we can garner from our empirical research. We'll go to custom earnings, and now we will only do this pre-earnings call if the prior earnings stock move off of earnings was a gain of 5% or more. Now we can see this has only happened three of the last eight earnings sessions, but all three have been winners. And rather than a 26% average return, we now see a 34.4% average return. So we see an increase in the average return and an increase in the win rate, which for Netflix is now 100%. You can now do this for any stock, for any custom earnings. This is our first exposure to the Trade Machine Pro Scanner, and all we have done so far is just look at a very small subset of another subset, which are pre-earnings scans, the momentum pattern. And it's a fair question to ask if these returns are simply due to a bull market rather than an actually robust, successful strategy. But it turns out that this phenomenon of pre-earnings momentum also worked well during the 2007-8 market crash, even in names where the stock was down over 70% in those two years, like Nvidia. Using the constituents of the NASDAQ 100 and Dow 30 as our study group, we saw a 45% return per stock over those two bear market years. Yes, this is empirically objective fact. But this leads us to one of the other benefits of the Pro Scanner. We can simply click on a ticker and it will load the back test in our trade machine for us. So let's click on Microsoft. And here are our Microsoft results. 12 wins, no losses. And down here is where the limit gain and the stop loss have already been implemented. We can click on custom strategies and we'll see we are looking at, in fact, this one week trade. While we just spent a lot of time on pre-earnings momentum, looking for opportunities right after an earnings release can be fantastic as well. What we'll do is we'll go to the Pro Scanner, we'll look at the NASDAQ 100, and we'll look at the one day after earnings jump long call. That is stocks that have popped higher one day after earnings and what it would have looked like to buy a call for the next two weeks. And here are the results over the last three years. We can see Apple, Tesla, and Applied Materials 
haven't lost over the last three years off of a large earnings move. And here's some other tech names like Baidu and Google. Let's just click on Apple and see what the scan result is actually giving us. We are looking at buying a call, long a call, under a custom earnings situation, which is specifically buying a call one day after earnings. So the announcement has been made, the stock has moved, closing it 14 days later, but we only are testing this entry if and only if the stock went up by 3% or more after earnings. So we're looking for stocks that just gapped up after earnings to find the ones that have continued momentum for the next two weeks. Apple is a great example. Over the last three years, Apple has seen this stock gap up five times and all five times owning an at the money call for the next 14 days has been a winner. We can click on the back test tile. We can see the average return has been 83.8% over each 14 day period. And we can even go down and see every single trade and every single trigger and make sure that the earnings event beforehand was in fact a gap up. You can even download the data into Excel if you want to check it by hand. So we finished step one. We found answers for momentum trading. The trade entry can be three days, seven days, maybe even 14 days before earnings. The scanner shows us which securities have worked the best in the past. It shows us when to exit using the stop loss and the limit gain. It shows us what the historical returns are. It shows us what the historical win rates are. So has momentum trading worked? Yes, it has. Our final step is just to go to the alerts tab and let's enter Microsoft and we might as well add Nvidia with it as well. We'll set an alert for seven days before earnings. I want an email and a text message. The note to myself is that this is a pre earnings momentum call. Then I add the alert. Here's Microsoft and Nvidia. But I also want to be reminded when it's time to close this trade. So I'm gonna put Microsoft and Nvidia back in. This time I'm gonna go one day before earnings because that's when this trade closes. And I'll send myself a note as well, time to close the calls. And now I've created the alerts to let me know when it's one week before earnings for this momentum pattern. And also I've set an alert so that I know when it's time to close the trade, should I put it on. Now let's turn to technical trading. While there are hundreds, if not thousands of technical indicators, in the trade machine, we focus on very few. One of the two technical indicators we look at is the CML Mammoth. That's for moving average and momentum model. And here's how it works. We started with several moving averages. Then we took them and we lined them up relative to where they were for each other. That is, which ones were above the others and which ones were below the others testing all of the various combinations. We also tested how far apart the moving averages were from each other. That is, were they really spread out or were they tightly grouped together? Then with some machine learning techniques, we found the comparisons and the moving averages that helped predict future stock returns. The next step was to include the current stock price in this measurement, where it lined up relative to the moving averages and how far it was from them. Once we had a definitive solution for that, we turned to momentum. We didn't only look if a stock had moved up or down on consecutive days, but also by how much. Was it a small move up or a large move up? Or a small move down or a large move down? Finally, we looked at the Bollinger Bands and the Keltner Channels, and if the stock was above or below the key levels. With all of that, we were able to build the CML Moving Average Momentum Indicator, CML Mammoth. We have the full details of how this technical indicator was created, including the full equation that allows you to calculate it yourself in the Discover tab with great detail. Now let's look at some of the results. We'll start out by entering four tickers. We'll do two of the chip giants, NVIDIA and LAM Research. We'll do everyone's favorite momentum stock, Netflix, and then just for a change of pace, we'll look at Ford Motors. We'll look at getting long a call, never trading earnings, and we will use the Bull Mammoth Technical Indicator. And here are our results over the last five years using the options that are the closest to 14 days. You can see across the board, the results are enormous, and we can see the win rates. With Nvidia, we're looking at a 60% win rate. So this trade certainly does lose. But the key to notice here is that this trade doesn't occur a lot. 
it does occur more frequently with stocks that are more volatile. So we can see that technology stocks have more trades triggered than Ford. But let's dive deeper. If we tap on a backtest tile, we can see the details. So for NVIDIA, we can see the average return was 40.8%, 21 wins and 14 losses. So an average return of 40% over 35 trades every two weeks. The average win was over 114%, and the average loss was 69%. So when this trade goes bad, it certainly is a substantial loser. But the trades win more often than they lose, and when the trades win, they're substantially larger, almost two to one, than the losses. We can take a look at Ford, a less volatile stock. We can see the average trade return, again, this is over 14 days, is 65.5% with seven wins and no losses. However, over five years, this only occurred seven times. For completion, we'll go back to the alerts tab. I'll enter NVIDIA. This time I'm looking for the bull mammoth trigger. I have my email address and phone number in there. I'll give myself a note, bull mammoth trigger. I'll add the alert. And now I will get an intraday text message and email when NVIDIA hits the bull mammoth trigger. So that's it. We wanted answers to these questions. Does technical trading actually work? What is the signal for trade entry? It's the bull or bear squeeze or the bull or bear mammoth models. And where do we find discovery of the companies or ETFs where this has worked the best in the past? As always, it goes back to the pro scanner. And now we have completed step two. We have with great specificity questioned, tested, and discovered the results of patterned pre-earnings momentum and technical momentum irrespective of earnings. Our final task now is to answer what about non-directional option trading? And here we go. It's long been believed and proven that simply owning an at the money straddle in most stocks is a loser. In fact, we can do it with our back tester looking at Google. Here it is getting long a straddle, doing nothing with earnings over the last three years, buying the 30 day option. This trade has only a 41% win rate and is down 57% over the last three years. But we started this discussion with the question, which is what about non-directional option trading? Is there a way to profit from it? Even if we go into a bear market or a correction and we want empirical results, does this work? And if so, when has been the best trade entry, which stocks have worked the best and what has been the best time to exit? Since we see normally owning a straddle and Google has been a loser, let's try something different. We'll come down to custom earnings. We'll test opening the trade seven days before earnings, so one week, and closing it on the day of earnings. Since Google reports after the market closes, this takes on no earnings risk. This is a one week timed trade. This is just short bursts of risk exposure. When we look over the last 14 earnings sessions for Google, we see 10 wins and four losses with a 218% return. And again, this was a one week trade with a short burst of risk exposure, which takes no stock direction risk at all. And during this time period, the stock was up 81% while just owning options for seven days, four times a year returned 218%, far less risk exposure, no stock direction risk, larger returns. Remember when we did this without using custom earnings dating, it was a 57.5% loser. And if you're wondering now, does this pre earning straddle work better or worse based on the prior earning stock move like the pre earnings momentum? Yes, there is a statistically significant signal that will help us navigate when the best pre earning straddles are available based on the last earnings stock move that research is available to trade machine pro members only. We can find dozens, if not hundreds of these opportunities where owning volatility looks like a loser, but timing it correctly around earnings has proven to be a gigantic winner. And the answer, of course, whether it's before earnings or after earnings is in the pro scanner. So we go back to the pro scanner. We go by strategy. We pick our ticker group. In this case, we'll just look at the S&P 500. We have the seven days post earnings long straddle, or if we prefer, we can look at seven days pre earnings or even 14 days pre earnings. So these three scans find us the companies where owning volatility has been a winner. So we can answer empirically. We do know the best trade entry. We do know which stocks have worked the best and we do know the best time to exit by using our stops and limits. We started this discussion saying we wanted answers to three questions. Has momentum trading actually worked? Has technical analysis actually worked? 
Has non-directional option trading actually worked? And if so, we should have empirical and explicit answers for each of those. We've answered our questions, and we have been empirical, and we have been explicit. There are other questions that the trade machine can answer, like has non-directional option trading while selling options worked? And if so, when? and in which securities, and what are the historical win rates. The trade machine was built to answer questions for traders. It was built to be empirical. It was built to be explicit. And of course, it was built to be easy to use. There's so much more the scanner has, including custom portfolio building. But for now, we have succeeded in our goal. We have answered our questions, and we hope you are a more powerful trader for watching. Thank you for your time. Now, of course, we just focused on earnings-related trades. If you like trading the actual event, we have a button for that. You can just click only trade earnings and test any strategy you want, whether it be custom or pre-built during the earnings event. And of course, for all other times, you can always just select never trade earnings and you can do the same thing. You can create your own custom strategy or pre-built strategies. And finally, it bears repeating, we cover every stock and every ETF and every index in North America as well. The opportunities are there. You just need to find them. So this is it. This is how people profit from the option market. It's preparation, not luck. Thanks for watching.